All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is update time. Time to fire up your Miracle Box 3.0. We have some major updates that you want to perform. We're going to be upgrading Cody to 17.4 because it's now stable enough to handle the add-ons. And we're going to also update the entire build. So ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Turn on your Miracle Box. We're going to show you how to upgrade your Cody and update your current Miracle Box build. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another tutorial video and we're going to show you how to upgrade to Cody 17.4 and how to update your media center. So if you are ready to roll, grab your remotes and we're going to get right into this. What we want you to do is go down to the settings menu by pressing down and you know you got it highlighted when it is bigger than the rest of the block. So once you have it highlighted, you press OK. Now, once you do that, it's going to open up this little settings menu right here. And we want to go all the way over to other. So we're going to tab over till we get to other. And then we want to go down to more settings. So I'm going to go down to more settings. And then we want to press OK once we are there. And once we do that, we're going to get this screen here. And it's going to have device and apps. We want to open up the app. So we're going to press OK to open that. And... What we want to do is we want to remove the older version of Cody. So if you have Cody 17.1 or 16.1 or whatever version you have, if it's not 17.4, we want to get rid of it. So we're going to highlight the Cody. We're going to press OK. And it's going to tell us immediately what version we have. In this example, we have version 17.1 and we want to get the latest version. So we're going to go uninstall this version first and we're going to highlight uninstall and press OK. And it's gonna ask us, are we sure? We're gonna say okay again. And then we're gonna say okay again for the third time. And once we do that, it is going bye-bye. Now, your Cody is uninstalled. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit back once, back again, and then you just wanna hit the home button. Now we are back to the main screen and the next thing that we want to do now that we've gotten rid of our Cody is we want to move over to update miracle. So we're going to go over, we're going to highlight that box until it's big and there it is. And we're going to press OK. Now, what you want to do is it's going to be highlighted on install Cody. So you want to make sure you click install Cody. So press OK and it's going to start downloading. Now, it may ask you if you want to do local or remote always do remote in this example it didn't because this is our first install of Cody but if it asks you local or remote just make sure you do remote and Cody downloads pretty quickly because it's not a very big file so now that we have it loading on our box we want to wait and it's going to ask us to cancel or install right here ladies and gentlemen we want to install it so we're going to install right here. So make sure you click on install and press OK. And right then and there, it's going to install Cody 17.4 on our box. Now, once it says done or once it's finished, it says app installed, you want to click done. So highlight done at the very bottom, press OK. And it's going to take you back to this menu. Now, the next step is going to be fairly easy. All you want to do from here is you just want to go straight down to Update Miracle. So I'm going to highlight that in dark blue. You want to press OK. And it's going to ask you local or remote. You want to do remote. So I'm going to highlight remote. And then we want to press OK. And now we are downloading the updated version of the build. And so this process could take anywhere from five to 10 or maybe even 20 minutes depending on your internet speed. So what we'll do is we're gonna kind of fast forward this part through the video and we'll return once it has completely updated. Now ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder, 
when you are doing an update like this, just be sure that you remember your username and passwords for any of your live premium services because you will have to re-enter them anytime you do an update. Just wanted to give you that brief reminder. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once you see the update data successfully installed, then just simply press OK and we can open our media center for the first time. You can press the home button to take you back to the main screen and then go down to open media center and click OK. And when you do this, you're going to see Cody 17.4 open up for the first time. And then you're going to see the miracle box screen flash and at this point just put your remote down you don't want to do anything for the next two minutes you want to let all of this stuff load up so don't touch anything for about two minutes and we want to wait on it to build a menu and it may kick you out or it may not it just really depends on the loading times and how much information is being loaded at one time but you do want to wait until it completely builds a menu and you will see that pop up pretty shortly. And you may see the, uh, the Net TV pop up as well. If that does pop up, you can just go over and highlight dismiss and hit okay. And as you see, the menu is building right here. And as soon as it's done, it's gonna flash really quick and it's gonna come back. So we're gonna let it write the menu. And once it is completed, it may kick us out or it may just flash like that. And in this case, it just flashed. If it does, you can always go back in. So now that the media center has finished completely building, you may now pick up your remote and you can actually start to navigate. Now, let me tell you some of the things that were changed in this update. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons why people choose MiracleBox is the fact that you don't have to worry about any of these nuances such as changing apps, worrying about how to install apps. We have a team, we do that for you. This is lifetime with the box. So basically I'm going to explain to you what apps we replaced and what apps died. Apps that have died that are no longer functional are salts, stream all sources. That's actually dead, the developer doesn't support it anymore. So we've removed that. We have also removed Elysium. Elysium was really good when it first came out, but it is not great anymore. It doesn't work as well, so we've removed that. And also, we've removed PrimeWire, which is uh, a long time uh, application for movies, and that has ceased to function. So we've gotten rid of all the junk, and we actually gave you um, everything on here that literally will get you movies and work properly now. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to one of the things that we have done, and again, one thing about MiracleBox, it is built by the people for the people. So we had a customer, I'm gonna give her a shout out, Mrs. Lori Cavabianco, who made a suggestion as far as how to access favorites. And whenever a suggestion is made by one of our customers, if the technology allows us to, we will actually go ahead on and implement some of your ideas if technology will allow us to. And this way, your ideas may be great enough to help everyone to be able to have a great experience because we're not just a company. We are a community of people who have decided to take control of their TV and therefore your suggestions that you make may help the entire community. So we're going to focus on the favorites right here, which is a, one of the new features that we added. It is a favorites and I'm going to go over to it and highlight it. It is right here. Let me tell you what that does. I hope I went past it. Let me highlight it here. There we go. I'm right here on it. Let me explain to you what this does. If you are searching an application and you find a movie, you find a TV show, you find an episode, or you find anything that you want to watch now or later or you want to repeatedly watch, you can literally custom build your own favorite list with all of your favorite content. And that ability was on the box before, but it wasn't as visible as it is now. And again, thanks to the suggestion made by one of our customers, it is now visible and it makes it easy for anyone to do it. So pick up your remote and just press okay. And as you see, there's nothing in this favorites box. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you a small tutorial on how to add your favorites and how to access them. 
So let's say for instance, we wanted to add a TV show. So we're gonna go down to networks and we're gonna find a TV show or TV series that we like to add that we are continually watching. And this way, whenever a new episode comes on, rather than having to go through all this and search it, we can put it in our favorites. So I'm gonna go to ABC and I'm just gonna choose a random show. And I'm gonna wait for ABC to load up. And let's say for instance, I would like to watch, let's find a, I guess a cool show. Let's say for instance, I wanna watch Scandal. So I'm gonna open up Scandal. I'm gonna go down to the latest season, which is season seven. I'm gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is these are episodes that are coming or that are available and these are coming. So, so I'll prevent myself from having to go through this process again. I'm actually gonna favorite this season of Scandal. So I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm gonna highlight season seven because this is the season that I'm currently watching. And what I'm gonna do is on your remote control, the standard remote control that comes with your box, you'll locate a menu button. The menu button is right below the information button on your standard remote. And when you press the menu button and you have what you want highlighted, it will give you a small little menu that looks like this. And you're gonna see an option that says add to favorites. So I can add this season to my favorites and just press okay. And it is now automatically added to my favorites. So I don't have to go and search this anymore. Whenever the next episode comes on, I can go to my favorites and pull it up. So let's say that was one TV show I like to watch. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna find maybe a movie or something that I wanna see later. So I'm gonna go over to movies and I'm gonna say, well, you know, let me set my entire uh, TV entertainment up. I'm gonna go over to movies and we're gonna go find a movie. We're gonna go into box office hits. And let's say for instance, I want to find a movie or some movies that I plan on watching and I can just find that and add that to favorites as well. So we're going to let it work here and add our movies. And let's say for instance, I wanted to watch, we're just going to go with Star Wars Rogue One. So if I want to watch Star Wars Rogue One, I could hit menu and I can add that to favorites as well. So I'm gonna add Star Wars, Wars Rogue One. And so I got a movie I got added there. And let's say I wanted to add some comedy. So I'm gonna to go to comedy, I'm gonna open up comedy. And let's say I wanted to add Comedy Central. So I'm gonna go on Comedy Central and I'm gonna find something that I wanna add, I'm gonna add it to my favorites. So essentially what you're doing here is you're literally building your own private list of content that you can watch whenever you wanna watch. So I'm gonna add, um, let's see. I'm just gonna add anything. So I'm gonna add Whitney Cummings and I'm gonna press menu and add to favorites. Now, you've watched me add three different types of content to watch. And you can add unlimited content. You can add millions of things if you want to. There's no limit. So I'm gonna go back here to my favorites and guess what? I'm gonna go all the way over here. And when I open it, there is every single thing I favorited. So if I wanna watch season seven of Scandal, I just press okay. And it's gonna shortcut me right to the season. And when this episode comes on 1026, I can go right and watch it. I can watch the one that comes on on November 2nd. So it keeps me from having to do any extra navigation and get right to where I wanna go. And again, if you want to remove a favorite, let's say you've watched Star Wars Rogue One and you wanna get rid of it, just press the menu button and you can actually remove it and it is gone. And so you can add and remove as many as you want. And this is a great feature that's gonna allow you to really customize your viewing experience with the Miracle Box. Now, even though I mentioned we got rid of a lot of things, including Salts, Prime Wire, and Exodus, as well as Elysium, 
we did add a very reliable source for movies because right now we have Covenant, we have a few of them. And let me go to it. It is called DeLorean TV. And we found it to be very, very reliable and it has a lot of great streams on it. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hit enter. And what this is, it'll give you the ability to have redundancy, meaning you can have more options for movies and TV shows if you want. And so I'm gonna go down here to movies and the categories are going to be just as familiar as anything else. You're going to have your in theater, your new movies, your genres, your year, things of that nature. So you can actually search it by the year. And it's just like Covenant, but it's just another option. You can go to in theaters if you want and see what's in theaters. And if you want to, you can favorite uh, anything out of here as well. It works just as great. Now, the favorites only work with apps. It doesn't work with live TV. So um, you have to have a password for live TV, so that's why it doesn't work. But anyway, back to DeLorean TV. You have some of the movies here that you can watch on DeLorean TV. And again, it's another resource for movies and TV shows. And if you back out of it, you can actually go and search TV shows on here as well. So it's another great option for some of your content. And just going through it, you have some US news. Again, you have fitness coming soon. You have live TV projects karaoke guilty pleasures which is adult section so um there's another app that you can go through so now the box is updated with things that will literally work you don't have to worry about going through media centers where things don't work anymore this is why we're here we're here to offer you guys support and this is now available for you to uh, go ahead on an update so if you have your miracle box 3.0 you can actually perform an update that you just saw and you can have all this lovely content waiting on you thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and we appreciate you watching this video make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel so you don't miss anything and also be sure to check us out on facebook as well ladies and gentlemen we'll see you in the next video have an amazing day